Hello, hello, and welcome back to Leaky Gaming, and welcome back to another episode of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Mod Monday. We have 10 mods this time. They're perfect. Right, we all know it's BS, but uh, disclaimer straight away, uh, these mods are really, really amazing. I only I am able to cover some of them, not all of them. There's over 50 mods released in the last seven days. Go check them out. Every, I believe every modder I'm going to present here has uh, several mods released and they have a really, really nice mod portfolio. You need to check them all out, make your own decision on what's best for you. I'm going to pre be presenting 10 of them at this time and hopefully it's going to be a little bit helpful for you. Okay, so let's get started. In a new model of these Mod Mondays, I'm going to be comparing them to the uh, vanilla buildings and how do they compare price-wise and capacities and this kind of thing. So it's going to be a little bit more educational, hopefully. Uh, so let's get started. Mr. Toprus's warehouse pack made by Toprus 100. This is a small pack, includes five warehouses with track connections. They range from very small to very large ones. They are loosely inspired by storage following units in order. You have the whole description there. You can check it out what they store there. I'm gonna present some of them and compare them to the vanilla building. So the only vanilla building that has comparable storage with uh, similar capacities would be one of these guys. So probably I would say this second to second biggest second biggest uh, storage would be more comparable or this vanilla would fit in between these two. So you have something a little bit bigger, you have something a little bit smaller as well, all connected to the railway stations. You can see capacities here with uh, let's say crops first. Uh, these are 520 tons, which is again in between these two. Construction, uh, construction wise, if we go to our mod section and we scroll all the way to the back, let me real quickly find these warehouses. They require, this is the vanilla and what vanilla requires, you have here um, all in all uh, 23 tons of concrete plus the ones that you require here all together. 28 tons of boards, 44 tons of bricks, uh, 10 tons of steel more or less and equi equ equivalent of the mod for Mr. Topros here would be one second here we go this is the biggest one it has 43 tons of steel a little bit smaller one would be this one this is 8.9 tons of steel so it would be a little bit less steel a little bit less bricks a little bit um a, a lot more concrete uh and a lot more gravel and a lot more asphalt to be constructed so mr topros's warehouse is a little bit more uh, intensive on concrete side so there we go so this is something that would be in the middle so we would have two bigger and three smaller warehouses compared to vanilla ones let's move on Okay, so uh, I'm going to be butchering this one. This is a vehicle section. We have vehicles on the left-hand side. These are the modded ones. On the right-hand side, we have the vanilla ones. We're going to compare them how they go. It's going to be first Kraz 258Z and Tatra 141 by Mr. Ayodar. I believe that's pronunciation of this name. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry about this. Hit the comment section. Uh, spill your hate. We're going to be presenting only four of those. We're going to uh, focus on the other one later on. So these vehicles are around 30 and 40 or 30 and 40 ton capacity respectable watching at the capacities for steel and aluminium so 230 tons and 240 tons vehicles with their uh, respectable low whatever vehicles there so they, they cargo space in there. So we have four of those and they are 30 and uh, 40 tons respectively. The only vanilla vehicles that can cope similarly would be the KMZ 5410s, they are really really cool, and the Romanian ones, uh, they have 18 tons of steel which is less than half capacity of the big ones. Now price wise, if you go to open hull ones and scroll all the way in the back where our mods are located, you can see that they are around 20 smaller ones for around 16,000 rubles in the beginning of the game. Bigger ones are a little bit more expensive. Soviet vehicles are expensive than Czech ones as well. If you scroll and see bigger ones on our side, that would be KMZ. It's half the price. So, and and the bigger one would be Romanian one. Again, it's half the price of the big ones, but they are they are definitely competitive in price. They are quite quite expensive. So heads up if you're gonna go for those. You can check out this mod in the description of the video. 
Right, now you're gonna have, uh, we're gonna go for the second vehicle here, we have this, uh, you're gonna hear me butchering some Russian language, even though I can read Cyrillic really badly, I'm gonna try it because the whole description is in Cyrillic. Uh, Karerini Samosval, Samosval, okay, I'm gonna say that this is, um, uh, this is the vehicle, you can see here in Cyrillic, I'm really bad at it, I'm sorry about this. It goes 70 kilometers per hour. I believe this is the uh, this is a Soviet uh, Soviet vehicle. You can see it here with uh, that will be under dumpers. I believe we can go under dumpers and all the way in the back was 16,000 rubles. It has capacity of 70 tons of loose cargo. You can check it in the right hand side. The comparable vehicle we have would be BZ252 dumper, which has almost three times less capacity. And the price wise, uh, they are comparable. Even the bigger one is a little bit cheaper. So if you prefer something that is affordable, that has enormous capacity and even speed is a little bit high, 70 km per hour, you have that option. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using this vehicle because I think it's overpowered compared to the price, but there you go, you have options. I think this mod looks really, really nice and I definitely would like to see how you guys implement it in your gameplay. You can see this mod in the description of the video. Okay, continuing on, Mr. Prosectom. Um, Mr. Prosectom made a Czech railway station set. He did before a lot of mods, so check out the, his mods as well. He does a really, really nice mod. Really, really nice um, uh, work with these mods. So on the left-hand side, we have four different stations and we have adjacent buildings six of them in in all together so you can combine them as you wish initially you don't need these uh, you don't need these people here they don't i'm not really sure what they actually do it could be like a town hall or something but they don't seem to be doing a lot there's no collisions to these buildings as far as i know you can see this i'm gonna just go in the mod section here and we're gonna go and work with some of these buildings for example you can see that you can place them anywhere you want this is really really good because then uh, you can actually make this look really really nice and the stations of course uh, i'm gonna represent them we have one rail two rails three rails and five rails one rail would be this one of course and you have two rails over here bear in mind that two rails three rails and five rails they have a bus station as well so they can they double up as a bus station now capacities let me just real quickly check this for you if we go to mods we have capacities here for the railroad stations uh, here we go 500 300 100 and 200 passengers respectively unfortunately this is number one number two number three and four so this is 500 is the maximum capacity of the big station they look fabulous they look really really cool check them out comparable to the stations that we already have in vanilla game they compare like this we have 1500 people and 600 people respectively station and the price for constructing them since um, the smaller one is only the the only one that is comparable to these obviously they take a lot 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 less space and also they have these have much well they take a lot of more space and they have much less capacity now in order to construct them you can you're gonna see one more time here we're gonna have the the platforms on the left hand side this is the more expensive one it requires 19 tons of steel 55 tons of concrete and 42 tons of gravel which is exponentially more than the the one that we have in game so this is definitely not a cheat mod by any means this is ex extremely expensive mod if you want to build it but it's really really nice and detailed this is something that i'm going to be using myself check out the link in description Okay, we have Mr. Wizard, Mr. Novu making something uh, again. So these are little village huts, as you can see them, <laughs> little hostels. Um, this is hostel, this is normal residential housing. I present these because we are currently building in my Let's Plays, we are building a wooden city and I wanted to present these little wooden hostels. One of them is actually a residential area, the other one is hostel for students. So 25 people capacity, three floors high, let's say that they are four apartments on each floor and two of them on the bottom floor that would be 10 apartments this is more than realistic i would i would say it would be realistic capacity uh, people capacity for students it could be higher because students usually wouldn't be they take less space Com how do they compare to the current ones so these ones are 25 uh, people each the ones from vanilla they have 85 capacity but they are big functional buildings i'm pretty sure that price wise they're going to be um, definitely uh, 
divergent there. So both of the buildings require uh, five, 65 tons of boards and 20 tons of gravel, the Mr. Novo's ones, while the smaller of these requires a little bit more. It's a little bit pricier to build those, but of course it's uh, li limited to capacity. If you think that this is cheating because you're going to have something smaller like this, that's up to you. Um, everybody is entitled to opinion, but uh, I'm going to probably try to use these hostel smaller ones because I think they're going to look fabulous in my wooden city that I'm constructing. And uh, right, that's it. You can check Mr. Novo's uh, uh, mod in the description of this video. Okay, so we have no collision residential tower by turn, 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 again, Mr. Novo. So this is something that I'm really interested in in the, in the place. And um, guys, if you are considering my opinion, if anybody is, uh, I would prefer no collision buildings and let me uh, play along and play with the placing them in the right position. So I would like to do realistic stuff if possible. If you guys take my opinion in consideration and I this is why I'm presenting it here because I will I'm hoping to use a little bit more of these mods no collision mods because I think it's gonna make our city look nicer you can pack it tighter or not depends on you but you have freedom to do whatever you want now th this is a set of uh, six different buildings from 130 112 107 80 80 80 and 75 people capacity respectively for all these six buildings they look quite nice they have a nice details on the edge of the buildings uh, windows arches everything looks really really nice and realistic I'm, I'm a big fan of mr novo's work and how do they compare to something from the vanilla game we have we have several different buildings here as you can see how do they look comparable to that how much is the foot footprint and capacities would be more or less similar 137 40 138 it's just over a hundred people these guys take a little bit less space and they're a little bit taller which is quite realistic and um, i'm actually I, I i quite like it so comparable this big building that has 130 people capacity uh, as you can see it here would require that would be the one over here in comparable building this would be 137 uh, flats prefab number three so we have this building that requires 72 tons of prefab panels this one doesn't require any prefab panels but it requires more steel it requires a lot of boards while the prefab panel one doesn't require any boards but this one requires a lot of bricks so bricks and boards are basis for construction they both require same amount of gravel and concrete you can find the link to this mod to this mr novo's wonderful mod in the description of the video here we go mr legend gamer music school music school in pripyat the model is honestly steel from one site uh, of open source models uh, 23 cleaners one security redneck <laughs> uh, 25 teachers teachers in our thriving socialist homeland can easily handle 40 school children at a time i agree with this uh, in in socialism we actually had the single school that had two different shifts from seven in, even earlier than seven in the morning would start and the second shift would be around one to two o'clock they would start and one school would handle two different shifts and a lot of a lot of students we had between 30 and 40 students where i grew up up per class so uh, around closer to 30 32 to 35 would be an average but i wouldn't be surprised 40 of them so obviously this means that this capacity is huge for this music school and i don't think this is unrealistic this is how uh, it was where i came from so they would be this is pripyat school of course this is iconic uh, structure if you ever played games like stalker and you know what uh, pripyat is how does it compare to the vanilla school it has more teachers it has more cleaners or staff and uh, it definitely uh, can service more people it would be more children it would be much much more children uh, i'm gonna leave you to discover this this is something i will definitely use as, as I believe that this is quite realistic and uh, of course it's iconic building and how does it compare construction wise to what we have here in vanilla section so we have a mu uh, musical Naya Shkola would be translation I believe or, or proper <laughs> not really proper or me desperately trying to read Russian uh, music Naya Shkola and uh, compare the structure compared to the normal building is a little bit less steel a little bit less boards 
uh, it does require doesn't require any asphalt, which is strange. I think I would put asphalt anyway there, and uh, it requires less gravel and it requires less bricks. So almost everything is less than vanilla building. To be honest, they might be. Maybe maybe it should be a little bit more expensive, but uh, uh, it's not gonna stop me. It's definitely beautiful building, beautiful mod, and I'm definitely gonna be using it. If you wanna check out this mod and other mods from Mr. Legend Gamer, check out the description of the video where the link to this mod is linked. Let's move on. Mr. Billman007, this is gonna be another butchering of uh, Russian language because unfortunately I'm not that fluent as I like to pretend I am, so this is... Uh, Gilie Doma Seri 114-719 uh, or 9 etajnie uh, bashi, bashni. So I uh, rough translation. I'm gonna guess it because it's a Slavic language. This is a livable horror or living home uh, series 114-719 etaja would be the levels like floors. And uh, these are the buildings that you can see here on the left hand side, 115 and 98 uh, respectively. Let me just check because they have different um, different uh, capacities. The one on the right, which is obviously a smaller one, has bigger capacity and bigger, better living conditions, which is kind of surprising, I have to say. But this is something that caught my eye this mod and I kind of like it because I'm I don't want to go into megalomania again after Canva Republic, but um, these kind of uh, buildings, nine stories high and less, would definitely be something I prefer recently. How does it compare to something similar? So you have similar building would be vanilla one, which has less less of a footprint for the same capacity. So on that front, definitely it doesn't cheat. It's not a cheat. And construction wise, let's go and check out how the building copes with the uh, cheating uh, set. The, the, the smaller one for some reason requires more materials, materials to be built and I'm gonna be using it actually a little bit more bricks, a little bit more boards but less, a little bit less concrete. So let's compare it to this one. So we have the vanilla one, similar size. Let's go for this similar size. So prefab panels 51 tons and 5 tons of steel. The uh, in-game one requires much 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 more steel than the vanilla one it requires doesn't require gravel which is interesting i think it should be included but it doesn't require prefab panels it requires a lot more bricks and a lot of a lot of concrete i think this is definitely not in a zone of cheating by any means necessary this building is not cheap vanilla one is much cheaper than the one anyway link in the description mr bremard Soviet Palace of Sports, what is it? Yeah, you can read that in the description of the video. This is his model. Uh, this is a new thing. This was real. This is a really, really... Uh, it says here, Dvorec Sporta Jonosti. Uh, Jonosti. Okay, so this is, this is the building he created. It has um, Soviet iconography, similar to what we have in Pripyat buildings as well, but it's quite common elsewhere. So this is Palace of Sports, it would be uh, considered like a huge, huge, big gym. Uh, of course, comparable. the only comparable building we have is the pool over there. I think size-wise and the price-wise is not going to be comparable, because this is just absolutely beautiful enormous building that I'm definitely gonna be using especially like our Mezirusi series where we had a project of uh, hockey arenas in every city or most of them this is definitely something I'm gonna be using in this aspect this is beautiful detailed mod from Mr. Chris uh, you can check it in the description of the video and let's compare it how it will compares construction wise with the with the building from vanilla here we have soviet palace of sports so let's take one of the um one of the pools here that we are trying to construct here and uh, you can see here it requires uh 253 tons of concrete and 84 tons of steel compared to the pool we have it's more or less 10 times more uh, more than 10 times both of those things i believe it should contain bricks asphalt gravel and that other stuff but uh, this is definitely going to rise the price quite high of this construction so if you like this model which i do and i'm going to be using it check out the link in the description of the video and last but not least Right, 
we have the map. The map is by Mr. Klangelier and uh, it's Tamriel uh, name of the map. So let's check it out how it looks like. Now you have two versions. First of all, Mr. Klangelier uh, made a lot of, a lot of, a lot of Canadian base maps. Uh, and you should check out the rest of his maps. Unfortunately, I still didn't, didn't get time to go through all the maps he created. He created a lot of maps and they're absolutely beautiful. This is just one of them and you should check all of them and decide which one is the best for you. This is something probably I won't be playing in my Let's Plays. This is an island nation or an island uh, with uh, amount of resources is quite realistic in my books because I like to start a little bit more challenging as you can see here. Uh, oil is based for some reason always in these maps is kind of like um, marshy areas or, or shallow waters where you have to do a lot of um, the terraforming to get all the oil out you can see that it's um, it's quite it's gonna be challenging to get that oil out you have small resources of, of uranium and um, coal coal is co interestingly there's not a lot of it so you, that's gonna be a struggle and uh, even less um, bauxite so if you want to play this map you're gonna have to fight for it now this is gonna be also challenging where this is uh, an island there's no border crossings everything that you're gonna get is gonna have to to be from outside and you're gonna have to produce your uh, electricity straight away from the get-go the map is absolutely beautiful it has a lot of fjords or inlets where you can build your harbors if you play your cards right and also it has several separate islands that have their own dist the distinctive resources that i'm betting many of you are gonna go for and of course you can create bridges or whatever you see fit but the map is absolutely beautiful you should check it out in the description of the video and this is where we're gonna end this one so this is 10 mods uh it's a little bit more than usual i hope you guys enjoy this if you did press the like button let me know what you think about this model comparing the buildings to the vanilla ones and how you can use it and what's my personal opinion of if they are cheaty or not which i'm using cheaty buildings uh, all the time so i don't mind that but i can give you my personal advice uh like subscribe notification bell ring it let me know what you think about this uh what do you think about the mods what's your favorite one mr chris definitely steals my favorite one with this arena i will be using the hell out of this one so mr chris thank you for everything that you did uh, and you guys if you want to support the channel description of the video like our mods on steam workshop that helps our modders have better ratings anyway guys uh, see you in the next one bye bye